Okay, today I am making a chicken stir fry. I have marinated chicken breast, which I have sliced. I got some bok choy, spinach, and baby chard. I have some fresh cabbage, some frozen cabbage. That's why it looks like that. It's frozen. I just pulled it out. Button mushrooms, green onion, orange bell pepper, frozen broccoli, frozen white onion, some fresh zucchini, some frozen zucchini, and some garlic. I have sesame seed oil, sriracha, salt. I would suggest kosher, uh, yeah, kosher salt, but a little bit of table salt is fine. Pepper, parsley, some steak seasoning. You can use Montreal season, seasoning if you like. And then I have crushed red pepper. Okay, those are all my ingredients. And also, I have a wok with hot oil. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put all of my chicken into the hot pan. And I'm going to saute that for about a minute and a half. Keep it moving when you're cooking on high heat. Okay, and the goal of this is to cook the chicken about halfway through. So that way you're not overcooking your chicken. And it's still very flavorful when you're done with everything. Okay, now I'm going to toss in all of my vegetables. That's good. Oh, I also have all of my garlic in here as well. For all of these vegetables, I use maybe about, in the chicken, I use maybe about a tablespoon and a half of oil. Now I have this on almost like a medium high heat and then I actually turn it up just a little bit more just a little bit not quite high but more in the middle I'm just going to keep 
same one around. Now I want to keep most of my vegetables still kind of crisp. I just wanted them to start sweating a little bit. We're about almost halfway done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my parsley flakes. Crushed red pepper flakes. Be careful with these. These are hot. If you like it spicy, put as much as you want. If you're not sure if you can handle this, only do about a pinch and when you're done with your food if it tastes like you want a little bit more spice add it to your plate and then mix it all together it'll trust me it'll give you the spice that you want my steak seasoning you can also use a montreal seasoning if you like this is just some seasoning i got at walmart just need a little bit of that you don't need too much and then I'm going to grind my black pepper in here. I don't know if you can tell, but I got my pepper right in there. And just a little bit of salt. Now I would suggest using kosher salt. I don't have any kosher salt right now, so I'm using just regular table salt. It says Sue's food service pack on it. So this is like the salt that they refill. The salt pepper shaker is good. Yeah. It's my salt. Oh, that's the uh, Morton Iodized salt. Okay. I'm going to start. As you can see, the heat is up. I'm going to just mix that all in together. Please make sure you're not uh, spilling food out of the pan like I am. Okay. I'm gonna shut this off. This is pretty much done. I'm going to add my sriracha. I bought some off brand sriracha. I couldn't find um, real sriracha at the time in the area I live in, but please get real sriracha. This is good. This is rolling sriracha. This is good, but it's not as good as the real sriracha. Please get the real sriracha if you can. So I'm just going to put maybe about a teaspoon. If you're not sure if you like spicy food or if you have people in your house that doesn't like spicy food, um, same with the pepper flakes. Just put this in your plate and mix it. Okay. So I'm going to... Mix that a little bit right there. It dissolves in liquid, and then I'm going to mix it with everything. And honestly, this this doesn't really take that long to make it maybe like well with the prep time it's maybe like 10 minutes but actually cooking is less than two to three and um next i'm going to put my sesame seed oil um this is again you don't have to put this in the pot if you want it's actually best that you wait until um uh you're actually make your own plate and put this on your plate because this is quite strong but because i like this i'm going to put it in the pot so i'm the only person eating this so I like this. This is like a, a nutty, smoky flavor. This is really, really good. Um, I got this from an Asian market down the street from my, my house. As you can see, I, 
I've been eating the hell out of this, so I'm just gonna pour some of that. That's actually a lot. I just put a lot in there. I would suggest maybe putting it in a ramekin. Oh god, it smells so good too. I would suggest putting it in a ramekin and just kind of like dip your food in there a little bit and taste it just to see how much you like it or if you like it at all. Um, but I like it. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, it has a very nutty, smoky flavor. Um, it's not spicy. Um, there's another oil that's usually right next to sesame seed oil in the grocery store. It's called fire oil. That's also something that I usually put on my um, on my food. And I make a stir fry. It's really, really good. But anyways, that is my chicken stir fry. Let's give this a try. 